Okay, now we have talked about what happiness is and so in the next exploration we need to talk about what is suffering. And to begin with what I want to do is just break it down into two types of suffering, physical and emotional or mental suffering. Now mental suffering I'll talk about in the next video. Let's just talk briefly about physical suffering. Now physical manifests as pain, nausea, uh, itching, that sort of thing. But uh, when it comes down to it, we mostly know physical suffering as pain. So I'll talk about that. And the key here to understand is that pain is made up of two aspects. The first aspect is physical discomfort. And then the second aspect is aversion to that physical discomfort. Now, without one of those, it doesn't really manifest as suffering. So when you're in deep meditation, what you can experience is that aversion will fall away. So you, maybe you have a pain in the knee while you're sitting. Uh, it's not too bad, but it feels uncomfortable. At some point during meditation, you may, uh, in trying to deal with that pain, find that the aversion, the not wanting of that pain will fall away. At that point, uh, great meditators tell us uh, um, that you will still feel the pain, and I've actually had this experience a number of times, but there's no desire to actually get rid of the pain at all. So you can actually sit there for quite a while while there's no aversion in the mind, and you know that if the pain gets to a certain level, you'll move, because it's not good for the body. But while it uh, stays under a certain level, there's no compulsion or desire to move your leg, and as a result, it just doesn't worry you. Now, for people who uh, haven't achieved uh, meditation, there's another really, really good example that I use. And that is that in World War I, when they had to operate on people, they used a chemical called nitrous oxide, or some people call it laughing gas. Now, they used that to um, help people get over the pain. Now this is the interesting thing about nitrous oxide. It has no analgesic effect whatsoever. So what it actually does is it just gets rid of all the aversion in your mind. So again, those soldiers, they could feel all the pain of being operated on, and they could feel the surgeon's knife or whatever, but they just didn't care anymore. They could just sit and watch it, it didn't bother them. So that's a clear, uh, uh, shows you that uh, if the brain's aversion can be switched off, then physical discomfort doesn't actually cause suffering. And if you've done a lot of pain research, uh, you'll find that it is very much a mental thing. And that's what I want to get at is aversion is not a physical thing, it's a mental thing. So when you think about it, suffering or unhappiness is really just the mental aspect of pain and not the physical aspect of pain. So I would go as far to say that uh, there is no such thing as f purely physical suffering. In fact, it is all mental suffering. And so with that knowledge, uh, let's turn our attention in the next video to talk about all the mental sufferings which we call negative emotions. Because that, that really, in essence, is what, uh, physic, uh, what mental sufferings are. It's all of these different... Uh